right, another quick update on the pottery studio today, what I've been working on. Uh, today, I hung these LED panels. So I made some frames for these guys and uh, hung them up. Uh, these are super, they're half inch thick LED panels. Uh, we're just gonna use two of them to light this whole room. It's not very huge, so two should be sufficient. Uh, these also have been reused from other projects that we had, so these are lying around. So literally, pretty much everything in here has been reused, except the rafters, we had to buy some more wood for that, but the walls, the lights, everything else has been reused in this pottery studio. And yeah, I'm gonna keep trucking along. We're gonna get the roof panels up next, and then we'll actually have a ceiling in here, and uh, electric, electric will come after that, and just, we'll keep moving on. This pottery studio is being built in the building operated by Atelier 339 Inc. The arts nonprofit set up by Ben and his mom, Sherry, which is next door to the workshop. Atelier exists to support working artists. The pottery studio will be accessible to artists in the Enid area. For more info, you can contact Ben at this address. This wouldn't be possible without the support from Park Avenue Thrift. Now with every job comes the fun part. You know, you make a mess to make something cool, but then you gotta, you know, clean it all up. <sighs> and I know you don't wanna watch me clean all this up, so through the magic, let's get started. And here it is, all cleaned up just like that. I'm gonna run some electrical, I'm gonna put this door in, and we're gonna keep rocking, but check it out so far. Look at that roof, and that ceiling, it's awesome. Well, this is the fun part, getting to climb up here and start running wire and get it all together, so let's keep it going. So a quick update, funny story. Uh, I just ran all the wiring for the lights up there. Um, and then after we powered it on, we realized the lights aren't turning on. Come to find out those lights were given to us and they're actually bad. So I had to take them out. Now we gotta find new lights to hang up there. So yeah, didn't test them before we put them up. Oops, and now they don't work. So we gotta get new ones. Hey everyone, all right, so I just finished installing the new lights. If you remember uh, a little previously, the lights that we did hang didn't work. So we got these new round LED lights. So let's actually flip the switch and see if they work. So here we go, moment of truth. Let me flip this camera around. All right, here we go. Hey, there we go. We have working lights.
So despite the Oklahoma cold and the forklift acting funky, what did we get today? We got a kiln. Got a kiln! I mean, I assume that's, you know, this is what we ordered. We haven't looked inside it. We should probably look inside the boxes, right? Styrofoam! Woo! Ooh! Look at that! Oh yeah. That's a kiln. That is a kiln for pottery. And then it has this smart controller that we can control remotely. And also, instead of using a, 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 um, an old traditional relay, it uses a solid state relay, which should dramatically extend the life of the heating elements. everyone we are pretty much done with the pottery studio I just got this door cut out we're gonna hang some vinyl curtains to go down to keep the warmth and everything in but as you need to wash your hands from having clay all over yourself we're gonna turn this into a wash area uh, so you'll just kind of go through those curtains in there to the wash area to clean yourself clean your tools things like that <clears throat> got the door hung we have working lights all the walls are set we just got the kiln moved in we're gonna raise that up on a little platform. Uh, we got pottery wheel, a bunch of other stuff in here. So yeah, thank y'all so much for watching this project. Um, I'm gonna get this wall put back together. We're gonna to hang some vinyl curtains and call this good. This is our pottery studio. We're excited about it and we're excited to see students, artists come in here and use all this pottery stuff. So thanks for watching the progress. Mm -hmm.